Well, here we are in uh, Sunny Cows on a seriously cheeky day, as you can see. Um, we're about to go out and do a sea trial on the uh, Sea with 39, a very serious seagoing boat um, based on the Nelson 42 hull. So before we step on board, let's have a look at some of the hardware this boat's got to offer. Something I particularly like about this boat, apart from the, the monster-sized um, cleats, um, spring cleats as well as uh, bow and stern cleats, is the fact that it has two sets of guard rails. Uh, okay, so uh, on particularly rough days like today, um, we will probably need these in earnest. out in the water. Um, it's been quite a cheeky day weather-wise, wind-wise. Um, what do I like about the helm in particular? Well, I love the huge Raymarine glass chart system. Um, you've got your primary instruments here. Um, most importantly, well not most importantly, but very importantly, you've got the automatic Humphrey trim tab system there, which is great. Uh, it keeps tabs on things. Uh, automatically adjusting the interceptor trim tabs according to the sea. At the moment, they're not really needed. All they do at the moment is they're tapping the bow down as we punch up onto the plane. But as we find out, we'll find out shortly in some of the more confused weather, off cow shot and out the Solon, and that is they keep a grip on this boat when we've got a beam seat. Great bit of kit in a boat like this, very important. Something I also like about this boat, something you take for granted in a car, and that is variable speed windscreen wipers. Switch your windscreen wipers on now, off they go. So we don't really need them at the moment, even though we probably will do shortly. You can vary the speed accordingly by pressing that button there. That slows them down. So now you can see you've got intermittent wipers. If you need to slow down a bit more, you press again and so on. You need to speed up, you press the switch on the right hand side of the panel. Obviously we don't need them, we just switch them off. They are very quiet, you can barely hear them, and actually being that the Nelson hull that this boat is based on, it's designed to punch through water rather than throw it to one side, uh, you do get a bit of a wet ride, so having a decent set of windscreen wipers that A make no noise and B can deal with the mess as and when you need it, just what you need. Sound levels are great, uh, well, it's pretty quiet to put it, put it mildly. I mind what we're doing, 22 knots, you won't feel it. The soundproofing in this boat is exceedingly good. The ride is very, very soft, we're just running through a bit of chop at the moment. You don't even know it. You see how she turns? She's got a big set of rudders, no doubt about that. Apparent full speed she can turn in three times her own length. For a semi-displacement boat, that's very good. Now I'm going to hit a bit of, a bit of chop, they won't even feel it. Twenty-three knots. She's got less than four degrees attitude on the bow, so she runs quite level for a semi-displacement boat. And you can, oh no, tell a lie, down to three and a half. 
you can tap it down. But the Humphrey system takes care of it for you and it actually gives you a reading. So you know if the boat's misbehaving or if you've uh, got a lot of weed on the hull and she's dragging the hull and the bow is up, then you've got to get a high reading on the gauge. At the moment, obviously, this is a new boat, being this is the first 39 that Sea would have built, and she's running pretty much spot on at about 4 degrees, 3.8, 4 degrees. Back her down a bit from 24 knots or so. Go down to a semi displacement speed, the sort of speed you're likely to cruise this boat at, 3000 RPM. Which, with the engines this boat has, which are 8LV370 V8 diesel Yanmars, a relatively new engine driving through V drives, it's pretty quiet, pretty smooth. 2800 RPM. Uh, the Humphrey interceptor trim tabs, all that. They're doing the stuff. They're keeping that bow down even though we've dropped. We're now down to about 16 knots. Still in a semi displacement mode, but a very casual one and a very quiet one. Drop down to. Okay, we're now down to sort of pace that will keep the dreaded mother-in-law happy. Yeah. 14 knots, two and a half thousand RPM. Yeah. The interceptors are still doing this stuff. We're still running at 3.8 degrees. Very, very good. And getting even quieter. Just over eight knots. Yeah, very sedate. And then, when we need to, She's off pretty quickly. These um, 370 horsepower Yamaha diesels, they give a very good power to weight ratio for this boat. Picks up pretty quickly. We're racing, hitting virtually nearly 24 knots already. Yeah, very good indeed. Well that concludes our sea trial on the Seawood 39, um, fantastic day for it, bear in mind it's early October, bags of sun, loads of wind and a boat that could deal with it all.